I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Cindy. And we're here with another Feeding Frenzy for the 40-Day Prosperity Plan. <laughs> In the Abundance Book. And we are on day 30. What freaking day are we on? <laughs> I don't know. We're not on 31. Are yeah. we on 31? We are. Is it 31 already? Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. I'm going to get your witness. <laughs> You may, I don't okay. know where you'll be on by 40. Oh my God, I'll be delirious by the time we get 40. Okay, God is lavish. We're on a beach somewhere. I don't <laughs> prefer that one. God is lavish, unfailing Ooh. abundance. <coughs> Excuse me, the rich, omnipresent substance of the universe. This all providing source of infinite prosperity is individualized as me. The reality of me. Reality with a capital Ooh. R. So, what does that do for you this time around? <clears throat> it sinks a little deeper this time. Does it? Yeah. It used to when we would we'd read that one and we've gone through this quite a few times now. Mm -hmm. And used to when we'd read that one, I mean I would seize up at just the thought, reality of me, as me. Mm -hmm. I would just there would be almost like an internal I can't say that. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's not that way anymore. Mm -hmm. Now it's yeah, I see that. I feel that. Mm -hmm. I can I feel the truth of it now, mm -hmm. where I didn't before. So I know that I've moved it out of awareness and been working with the understanding of it, and now it's sinking into the knowing. And that's a good place to be. Good. It's a really peaceful spot to sit in. Good. Rich and lavish, abundance, yes, I can see it. I can see it. Now, I still <clears throat> I have to remind myself of it, especially when the little R world, you know, the little real world takes over and uh, I get caught up in the appearance of lack. But it comes quickly mm -hmm. and it feels more right now. Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm having to talk myself into it any longer. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about it for you? It does. Um, <clears throat> I think what one thing that's helped me, especially with this one, was um, doing the master key system with mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. tandem. Um, because we did one not long ago on, on that one that um, talked about how we can't exist without God. And in the same token, God can't exist, or ex he could exist, but he couldn't express he himself, himself without, without us. us mm -hmm. Because we are expressions of God. And we are the um, expression of God in, in the real world. Mm -hmm. you know. And I think of... Um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good analogy as to how my brain sees that, is that, you know, God's just, it's not so bubble like he is God is just you know this ball of energy, but he can't, he can't really express that energy without some sort of, of conduit or mm -hmm. some sort of um, vehicle to to express mm -hmm. that. So, um, almost like, you know, when you've got some clay or something and you make an impression on it, you know, you got to have the clay to make the impression. Mm -hmm. You can't have an impression without something, mm -hmm. some substance there to make the impression. So, I, that I think helped me to see me as an expression of God. Mm -hmm. That God can't, couldn't express himself in this way mm -hmm. without me here. Mm -hmm. Because there is no other Cindy anywhere else in the world. I am different and unique. Mm -hmm. But um, uniqueness does not mean singled out as much as it. You can't be unique without having others around you. Right. Right. You know. Right. So unique means we're all the same, but there's something that makes us special, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we're all special in our own way. Mm -hmm. So this one has really. So changed. are you saying now, <coughs> then? Now tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm reading this wrong, but I'm almost hearing that you are recognizing your lavishness, the lavishness yes. of Cindy. Yeah, I think a lot of that depends on how you define lavish. But mm -hmm. um, I, I'm almost defining lavish different now, in that it's just yeah. the appreciation of of. Things being different, mm. you know, it's the appreciation of things being comfortable and mm. uh, 
delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how things mm -hmm. being just. Well, like, warm. have you ever gotten into, you know, come in the cold bedroom and get into a warm <laughs> bed? Electric oh my blanket. gosh. You know, an electric blanket <laughs> worth the warmth. So, you know, that is lavish, mm -hmm. especially when you're cold. You know? Yeah. That's lavish. I'm finding lavish in the little things. The things yeah. that make me feel good. When I know? first started this, lavish was bigger than me. Yeah. Bigger than I could see, and bigger than I could have, and bigger than. And now I'm finding the lavish in the little. Mm hmm. Do you know? Yeah. So it's changed my sight in that, you know? Mm -hmm. I can find a lavish moment in a nice pair of warm socks. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can appreciate that moment mm -hmm. and just dive into that. Or right. a succulent piece of chocolate. Now, I can find some serious <laughs> lavish in that. And I know other or people will. Brownies agree. with milk. <laughs> See? <laughs> It's like pizza without a Coke, or for some pizza, a beer. You know, it's, a, it's not lavish until you get the two together, and then it's like, ah, oh, you know? So I'm finding lavish in the little things now. And lavish doesn't seem to be a word that's bigger than me, mm -hmm. or bigger than my experience, mm -hmm. where it was beforehand. Lavish always meant more than, and it doesn't mean that anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's no. changed for me, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I think that. If if I had to put, well, I don't know, there's, that's hard. I was going to say if I had to put one thing that this has helped with more than anything is, is to help me appreciate what I have now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but there's so many things that I can't say that's the one thing, but um, it has truly helped me appreciate and have more peace with where I'm at now mm -hmm. than ever before. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that until we can be happy with where we are now and what we have now, that we won't get more. Because the Bible even says that, you know, when we're faithful in the little things, then we'll be given the bigger things. So I, I, mm -hmm. this has definitely helped me to realize that we have all we need mm -hmm. right here. Well, we have more than we need. Yeah. Look at the comfort so, we sit in mm -hmm. now. You know, we have friends who right. have flowers and pipes here. now. Here. You know? yeah. But I'm talking about here. We yeah. have everything we could ever possibly need. Mm -hmm. We're just With us already. Right here inside. Mm -hmm. So everything that we have out here is lavish. Mm -hmm. Everything that we have out here is mm -hmm. over and above what we actually need. Need because mm -hmm. everything that we need is in here. Mm -hmm. And that, for me, is a comforting thought mm -hmm. that I don't have to look to other people to get what I need or to fulfill me mm -hmm. or to make me feel better about myself. Mm -hmm. Which I used to have to do is look out there to feel better about me, and, now and that's just that comparison. Anymore. Comparison, well, not only that, but looking for approval mm -hmm. and looking for them to define who I am. You know, I told you I used to feel invisible because I was waiting for everybody else to tell me who I am, mm -hmm. and now I know who I am, and I don't have to have anybody's approval or I or to tell me who I am, mm -hmm. you know. So it's changed the way I see me, you know, the way I think about me. Mm -hmm. And that gives a confidence that I know God's going to take care of this, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask you one more thing, mm -hmm. another word that's stood <coughs> out here. Unfailing mm -hmm. abundance. Do you see it now? Is it unfailing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it as, um, it's never failed me. I've failed it. What do you mean by that? I mean, um, it's always there. It's like the law of gravity. It's always mm -hmm. there, always working. It never fails. You know, I've failed at it. Sometimes. I've fell down and I've, mm -hmm. you know, I've abused that law. Um, it's all about where I'm at. In other words, when something happens, I have a choice. I can look at it positive or as a mm -hmm. negative. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I used to choose to be a victim and to poor pitiful me, mm -hmm. have a pity party, mm -hmm. and to wonder why me, Lord, you know, mm -hmm. all those things that I used to go through. When now, when something happens, it's like, okay, I must have been doing something wrong. Not in a bad way, not talking bad about myself, but just saying, okay, Looking at it more objectively mm -hmm. and saying, okay, that didn't work. What will? You know, what do I need mm -hmm. to change about me mm -hmm. 
to make this work as opposed to, oh my goodness, look at me, how stupid I am, and how, you know, and having that pity party. So it's helped me to see the real me, which is the big R, real me, mm -hmm. the God me, that can handle whatever comes along, mm -hmm. instead of the poor little R me, who's going to wallow in it. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's yeah. big changes in both of us since we started this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to, this week, just a little spin. Let's change it out. Let's put um, good in for God. Okay. Ready? All right. Good is lavish, unfailing good. The rich, omnipresent substance of the good. This all-providing good of infinite prosperity is individualized as me, the good of me. Mm. Wow, well, it's hard to be hard for me to see myself as good. Really? What? I don't know. I don't know. That's an interesting a new direction to take, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I see it a whole lot better than I used to, mm -hmm. but it still sort of takes me back. Ooh, mm -hmm. something to work on there. Mm -hmm. I, All right, let's try another one. I don't want to judge, I guess. Mm. Or maybe, maybe I just always thought of myself as not good. I was taught that. Sinner. I'm bad, you know. It's harder to see myself as good. Yeah. Okay, go. Or what's the other one? <coughs> Let's switch it this time for joy. Mm. Mm. Okay. Joy is lavish, unfailing joy. The rich, omnipresent substance of the joy. This all-providing joy of infinite prosperity is individualized as me, the joy of me. Mm. Wow. That feels hard. Why does that feel hard? Because it feels like, oh my God, you mean i got to be joyful all the time? <laughs> Is that judgment? That's not judgment, is it? Bad mood? That's not judgment. So well, let me just strike a chord bad. using joy. Well, puts pressure on me to have to be up all the time. I don't know. But if we truly live from the truth of ourselves, is there any other way to be? No. No, I won't be in a good mood all the time. Well, far be it for you to be in a good mood all the time. I mean, I do want to be in a good mood all the time, but that's see. But you hard. feel pressure from that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just because I don't know. Everybody in around me is always. But watch it now, easy. <laughs> well, not everybody, but okay, earlier before you, people were in a bad mood a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I think I feel like it's too much to expect somebody to be in a good mood all the time mm -hmm. or to be joyful all the time, including me. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's, it just seems like an expectation that I shouldn't have on anybody. I'm gonna have to work on that. I'm gonna have to work on that. One. Yeah, mm. it's good stuff. Very good. Shame. Sure.